My idea for a company is um, I'd like well, the way I'd like to work is that if if somebody has worked you know a hundred hours at a hundred dollar an hour job for the company, then there's ten thousand shares they have in the company. If that's all the work that's been done, then they're getting 100% ownership of the company, 100% of the profits and dividends and so on. And there's a system by which the company will keep some of its profits and give some in dividends. Um, if somebody else starts working, let's say they work 20 hours uh, for, for uh, $20 an hour, so they get $400. So now there's uh, uh, $10,400 of stock and it gets divvied up appropriately, the dividends and the ownership rights and stuff. That way, when you stop working for the company, you know, other people will come in, it might dilute what you get because let's say you've got 10,000 shares and you're getting, you know, a thousand dollars a month of dividends from those. It, it, the question of should you hire more people becomes, well, if you hire more people, um, is everybody going to make more money? Is that going to go from a thousand to eleven? or uh, because you're making so much more money, that, or is the dilution going to lessen it? Probably it's going to, the dilution will lessen it, and then it'll come back. And I want this kind of dynamic to be the decision, because when I worked in commercial software industry, I saw many times um, executives making decisions that hurt the company on a per capita basis, right? But they get a lion's share. They get a golden parachute, so they can profit, right? They can sell a company the company can be worth less uh, per capita the people are getting less and yet you know from the company um, you know their salaries are going to be cut or some of them are going to be you know fired and um, the only reason that works is because even though there's less uh, smaller pie the executives are getting a, a bigger piece once again and so I want to have a company that sort of uh, discourages that uh, it might discourage growth, but uh, I don't necessarily think so. It's not like um, the decision is entirely vested. I mean, people that are currently working, I would like a company where if, when you stop working, the company buys as a severance package the shares you've gotten back, yeah, you know, if it can afford it. So you wouldn't really have people that aren't working for the company deciding. Or possibly you could take your shares in the dividend part, but you, the voting part. Um, I think there might be a lot of flexibility in that because I don't really think the capitalist system is compatible with my idea. Probably have to send, set up something that's like a, an internal equity token that we can express with certain company rules, um, but that the traditional ownership, it's not sweat equity oriented. What it is is you own the company 100%, you sell it, and that's just the way it goes, and people that never worked for the company can own it pass it on to their kids and I just want if that's the case there to be some natural dilution so um, you know there will probably be these two spheres where I partition part of my company uh, if I ever make one um, I've been thinking about this because I'm doing the software but really um, you know I've for decades uh, when I left commercial software um, the, the well, not commercial software, but when I left the game industry, I decided I didn't really want to go back to that kind of thing, the research and development side of that sort of thing, unless I was the one deciding. So, um, yeah, I wonder what you guys think of that. Um, I think a really interesting case of this kind of stuff is a Mondragon, uh, a giant multi-billion dollar um, Spanish cooperative that's a, a producer co-op rather than a consumer co-op, which I strongly uh, endorse.